But one thing I have never been happy about this table saw is the fence. And to be precise is this part here that is attached to the fence. When I work on something that needs to be really precise, I tend to not trust the tape measuring that is uh, that came with the table saw. And because of that, I use one of those electronics measuring devices. I place it against the teeth of the blade, so I make sure that I start counting from the tooth and not from the blade itself, and I point it towards the fence. And here comes one of the problems. These extensions has grooves, and very often the laser of the measuring uh, device goes in between the groove and does not give me an accurate reading. So today's plan is to remove this and replace it with this. These are two pieces of plastic and I'll put the description and the actual name in the description below. They are really straight, they are one centimeter thick and the idea is that they're gonna go around the fence uh, like this. It is a little bit higher than the fence itself, that way It'll give me a little ledge to use for uh, holding things like pencils, measuring tapes that don't fall all over the place. A little bit like you see those typical American staple saws like uh, uh, I think saw stop or the Bismeyer type fans and so on. I want this part to start flush with a, with a fence, that way it will make the fence itself even a little bit longer and I'll have more stability when I pass uh, pieces of wood through. Okay, the first step is to clamp this to the fence, just one side, making sure that it's precisely where I want it and because I don't want every time I move the fence this touching the uh, the table saw, I'm going to put this piece of plexiglass which is just less than two millimeters under. That way is a little bit raised. I'm gonna clamp it. As I was getting ready to start drilling, I, I came up with a different solution uh, which is which is much simpler and it'll allow me to actually test it for a while and see if I actually like it with this before I start making any holes into it. Uh, and if I shouldn't like it, I can always use this uh, for some other projects. So the idea is that basically I'll place it in the same spot I want it, but instead of uh, using the pre-existing holes and screw it together, I'm just going to use double-sided tips. I've used this before, it's really strong, I'm very happy with it. Um, so we'll see how long it lasts. If I see that the tape with time and with, with probably dust starts losing the grip, then I'll go back to the original idea. But for as long as it, it stays together, perhaps this is a much faster solution. So let's see uh, if it works. <laughs> 